So regional forms have been a highlight feature within Pokemon games since Pokemon Sun and Moon and a focal point that fans tend to love. In my time of being a Pokemon fan, I've seen all kinds of artists make regional forms for almost every type of Pokemon. Therefore, today I will be showing off an entire region composed of nothing but regional form Pokemon, being the official account of Pokemon form over on Instagram. The artist over this account has made so many amazing regional forms and evolutions that I cannot wait to show you guys, and I know that you guys are bound to love. Not to mention, all while introducing a brand new typing to Pokemon. So today I'll be checking these out for the first time alongside you guys, and be sure to let me know which Pokemon make it onto your team, or which ones blew you away. And also, quick reminder, I may mispronounce some of these names, I am looking at these and going through all of them in like one take as I'm looking at them for the first time, so I do apologize for that very early on. Also, do you guys know what's as awesome as regional Pokemon? Well, it's going to be today's sponsor and the greatest mobile game of all time, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is looking amazing and is now packed in with over 600 different champions. All of the champions come from different unique factions and each have their own place in the history and the world of Teleria. But today, let's meet some of the coolest characters, being the Orcs. Now, of course, when it comes to Orcs in fantasy games, they usually are not seen as the most favorite characters, but in Raid, they're not all bad. While they are created from the Dark Lord Siroth, they actually have a good reason to not like humans. After a brutal and devastating war against the Banner Lords, High Elves, and Sacred Order, their land was annexed, forcing most Orc clans to become nomadic. Now, they're just mostly trying to survive, and there's nothing wrong with that. Seeing an ally in Queen Ava of the Elves, they have joined her cause, but even they don't know her true motivations. And let me tell you, the story only deepens from there. Now let me show you guys some of these really cool looking orcs. Now each orc is influenced by tribe and personality, which makes them each unique in their own way. And did I mention they look awesome? Some of my favorites are actually going to be Varl the Destroyer with those swords that just look menacing. Gumluck Skyhide, who also shows off his tribal side, and Tila Gourmet, I mean, sheesh, this character is looking good. And what I like about this game is not only the gameplay aesthetic and how you can really jump into it, but also the characters. I love having different options to play with, such as the High Elves with some of the coolest designs I've seen in fantasy games, such as Vergus with a clean design, down to a Jingle Hunter rocking a bow which is awesome because I love the range type characters. And let me say, this is the best time to get started with Raid. If you click my link in the description or scan the QR code here on the screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free Epic Champion Tayrul, 200k Silver, 1 Energy Refill, 1 XP Boost, and 1 Ancient Shard, so you can summon some awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. And don't forget, Raid is available on desktop, iOS, and Android. So what are you guys waiting for? All this treasure is waiting for you here on Raid Shadow Legends. And again, thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. All right, Pokechamps, you guys know how it goes. We're gonna dive into the starter Pokemon first, and you guys know the Kanto Pokedex, except for some of those new things we did mention, and I wanna go ahead and dive into it with you guys. So Bulbasaur here on the screen, now a ground type. So it's gotten rid of the flower. That part is really like the little bulb thing. It's throwing me off, which I think is gonna play, of course, into the evolutions, because now the typing has changed. It has like a bit of layered skin, kind of like a little mole or something. It's, I mean, it's cute. It, and you can see the layers of, of like how the ground works. I think that looks really cool, and I love the eyes. They very they they pop really well with the new ability Last Dust, which is similar to Overgrow, but for ground type Pokemon, as it will evolve into Ooh Spikosaur. Again, it's weird though, because this one doesn't look very Ivasaur heavy, um, but I like it. It kind of plays more into its Jurassic design and those elements. It's very spiky, um, very tanky. Now being a ground and rock type, I think that's actually really cool. Uh, I, I mean, I like it, but it's just so different from Ivy, so I'm not sure how to feel about it immediately. Uh, and then we have Gemsaur. Uh, Gemsaur looks menacing as hell. It, it looks like a Pokemon that deals damage, takes damage, everything under the sun. It looks good though. I, I honestly, I honestly do like it for sure, right? Then we have my personal favorite starter of Kanto out of the three, Charmander, and it is now an ice type. Now again, I'm looking at these for the first time alongside you guys, and this is freaking adorable. I love the shades of purple on the eyes, the, 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 I love the fluffiness. It just, it's really cute, and ice types need some love, man. Ice types, uh, been getting more love as of recently, but they, they still need even more love. Then we have, ooh, Glamillion, Glamillion, I, I 
I, again, I do apologize by mispronouncing these names. It looks great. I love it. Kind of builds like this kind of igloo base around his body and his hands, but it still has like that really arctic like salamander design. I, yo, this is super clean. I actually like it. And of course, it has an ability, same thing with Charmander, I'm guessing for like the Charizard variant. It has an ability called Glaciers, which is going to boost up ice type moves similar to Blaze when in low in HP, right? So then we have, ooh, Glacizard. Ice Dragon, finally giving it the Dragon type properly without being a Mega, it is the Igloo Pokemon. Um, I like this. It, it's a little bit weird because you expect it to have wings and be a dragon, but I think this is also really cool. I love the extended body. I like to play with the Igloo. Um, very Jurassic. It looks it looks good. I, I'm not. I mean, for sure, right? Then we have Squirtle. Now, my least favorite, right? Out of the three, I'm just not a guy of water starters, but. Let's let's see let's see Squirtle. Oh, it's a Steel type with the new ability Melt Down. I like the way that sounds. Melt Down, very spiky. That's one thing I've noticed so far. <laughs> um, all the starters are really spiky-ish, except for uh, this you know Glacizard that we just saw. But it still has some spike level to it, right? Uh, but I like it, Squirtle. Cute as it evolves into Drilltoes. Drilltoes looks like a beast. I love the drill arms, bro. That actually looks really good, especially for a middle stage. Middle stages usually have the hardest time looking the greatest. Honestly, this is kind of making me like like War Total, or I guess in this situation, Jotos, uh, even more. And then we have, whoa, not a blast always. Ho, oh, did not expect this design wise. This is Oni Turl, a steel and dark type. I like this typing, really good typing. We've seen it before, of course, in Pokemon. But the design of this Pokemon is like really insane with the with the shades of red. It looks definitely, for one, better than Blastoise. I'm sorry, Blastoise fans. I just don't love Blastoise that much. He barely even uses the cannons. Uh, but this thing looks even tankier to me. But it's really not with fighting type Pokemon. But it looks super tanky. I love the pop of yellow around the rim of the shell and on the neck. It kind of has like that Japanese influence to it. And I, that looks really good to me, right? Um, if I'm correct, Caterpie should be next. Caterpie looking weird. Ooh, uh, I don't know how to feel about this. And, and we can look at Shinies, but I'm going to let you guys head over to the official Pokemon Forms account. You guys can look at the Shinies yourself. Uh, but this is, it looks weird. It is a Caterpie that is a bug and water type with water absorb. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. It looks good. It looks good, but I don't, oh, and I like the pattern. It's now like a water droplet. It, it It's weird because you can see like the, I guess the bug essence in its body. Let's see what it evolves into, right? It no longer evolves into Metapod, but it evolves into Blaboon, which is a Cocoon Pokemon. It is, oh my goodness, it's just pretty much water. It looks almost unsettling, but interesting at the same time, which of course means we don't have Butterfree. We have, ooh, Glowfly? Okay, this makes it worth it though. Let me say, for a Bug-type Pokemon, another typing that definitely like got a lot of love in Gen 8, but could use more love, this looks really good, and I believe we're correct. No, there is no bug type regional form as of right now as I'm recording this video, so maybe Generation 9 will give us that with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet or any game kind of proceeding those, but this looks great. I actually really like this design um, of the Pokemon. Then we have Weedle being a bug and steel type, so bug and water versus bug and steel. Oh, okay, not bad mix, not a bad mix. As it evolves into, ooh, Shield Coon. I like it, dope. Sturdy as the ability, bug and steel, it, it is playing to the shield vibes, and I like it. As it steps into more of a wasp design, really pushing the wasp design. I don't want to like mispronounce the name. No guard for the ability. Um, this thing looks really badass, actually. This thing actually looks really badass. Very uh, very sharp. Very sharp of a Pokemon, right? Uh, the next one we have Pidgey. Pidgey is just looking okay. It's a Pidgey. It is a pure flying type, thank God. Um, I feel like we need more pure flying type Pokemon, so I was so glad to see Rook of D when it got shown off in the games. But I love it. It looks definitely more um, uh, like, like I don't know. It looks like it really belongs in the sky. It's not a basic Pidgey design. It has a little more flair to it. Um, and it looks like this one has Pidgeabolt, which is an electric flying type, which looks super dope. I love the, the tail and like the, oh, this looks good because the head is like a thundercloud. That just looks 
super uh, super glue. Did it? Yeah, didn't expect that. As you guys can see from the comment, that I did not expect that. And then we have whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Is this like like Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno type of thing, dude? So this is Pidgeot Blast, where he has like it's like a it's like a um it's like black smoke and fire. I don't ooh ooh. First of all, better than Moltres, uh, Cantonian, not Galarian, I would say. But it's damn. This is I don't know what to think. This looks really good. Um, so I'm guessing the last one's Ice, right? Ooh, Pidgey, Pidgeot Ice. Um. For sure, I want to say the fire one's my favorite personally. Let me know in the comments down below which which Pokemon so far are making it onto your teams for these for these regional forms, right? Um, Pidgeot Blast looks so good, but then I mean, come on, man, Pidgeot Bolt. I may have to take Pidgeot Bolt. That thing looks incredible. That thing looks phenomenal. All three are great though, and I love the inspiration for Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. It looks really cool. Then we have Rattata now being a Psychic type. Ooh, okay, I like this. This looks uh looks pretty good. The lazy Pokemon reminds me color wise of drowsy um but looks looks good and then rattata whoa did i expect you actually look like you could like be a threat like you don't look like an early route pokemon you look like a threatful pokemon i like this over regular radicate and and the uh alolan one as well um sparrow ice and flying type it's good design is great the Pokemon itself, Sparrow is just rough. Uh, but I will say, Pharaoh looks better here than his Kanto design. Kanto Pharaoh, if you're a Pharaoh fan, I feel sorry for you because Carol uh, Pharaoh is just not it. Uh, then we have Ekans, right? Hopefully we get to see Ekans in Generation 9. Being a water poison type. Ooh. Love, love, love the typing, right? Um, and then it should evolve into Arbok, right? What the hell is this? Okay, so I don't want to like mispronounce the name, but it's like easy play on words of Anaconda. It's a water dragon type. <laughs> Amazing. With Swift Swim. This is a monster Pokemon. This Pokemon is a beast. I love it. It looks great. It's so simple, but it kind of gives like that Sanaconda vibe. I, yeah, it looks like, I, I mean, I would never use Arbok. I've never used Arbok before, but I mean, this right here blows Arbok out of the water. I mean, maybe I'm tripping, but this is... This is good and the name is cool. I don't want to mispronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's like Anaconda. Um, it, it's it's a it's a shuffle of Anaconda. So, dude, big brain, big brain. Now, next up is Pikachu, a very iconic Pokemon, but it looks like it has a brand new typing, and that's the Radiation type. So, it looks like Pokemon forms to introduce, at least for Kanto so far, a brand new Pokemon typing. So, Radiation type is here with a brand new ability, which is going to be active. When it says, when the user faints, the attack stats will be decreased. Oh, wait, the attacker stats will be decreased by one stage. So, even if you beat this Pokemon, you still take a slight loss, which is, I guess, a cool way to play into, like, the Rads. Of, uh, of like radiation, okay. And I'm guessing it doesn't turn into Raichu, but turns into Raichu, the radiation Pokemon. Uh, okay, um, uh, this kind of looks like just a plumper Pikachu. It's not my favorite design. Um, not bad, but just not my favorite. But I love the concept of a radiation type for like fan-made regions. If this was really for Pokemon, that ability is like actually pretty good, but kind of busted. Uh, then we have Shan, uh, Sand Shrew, which is no longer really playing into the Sand Shrew element. It's now a dark type with tough claws, and Sand Shrew needs some love. I love the design of this, though. I love the red. I love the black. I love the little touch of whites to lighten up the design. I like this a lot. It looks really cool. Then we have, oh, hold on, hold on, Tox Slash, the dark and poison type. I love it. 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 This thing looks like a beast. This thing looks like a beast. Now, is it better than Alolan? Because Ice and Steel is really cool. Is it better than Alolan? Like, like Sand Slash? I don't know. But Tox Slash is a pretty fire Pokemon on the team. On the team immediately. Then we have Nidoran, female. Normal Fairy, super cute. Love the stars. Love the color. Love the, the tipped, like, pointed uh, hands. Looks really good. Then we have Nidorina, the normal fairy Pokemon, both having the ability Cute Charm, uh, the Star Rider Pokemon. And again, I love the stars. I love the purple. It looks like Nidoran, but purple with stars on it looks great. And then we have the Dragon Fairy Pokemon with sheer... Oh, it's busted. This Pokemon's busted. With sheer force, Nidoqueen. 
Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it has like the little additional dots for stars and the star pattern grows. I love when you link a dragon fairy type to stars. That's a little hint hint for you guys for Neos. Possibly just, just oh, dude, this looks so good. Which makes me excited for Nido, uh, Nido King, right? Uh, so we have Nidoran male with having like a crescent moon design. I love it because they did it twice. He they did it they did it twice with like in the ear and then on the on the outside of the ear. That's well, really cool. Then we have Nido Reno normal fairy riding. He's the crescent right. So it's the star rider Pokemon, the crescent rider Pokemon. And then let's see it. Also dragon fairy, but has the crescent design with the like dotted star. Yo, what on the team? On the team, one of the best looking Pokemon, yo. This looks, this looks so good. I, actually, I mean, like both of them look like really, really good. Oh my goodness, these look, these look phenomenal to be quite honest. And then we have Clefairy. Okay, Clefairy, fairy flying. It's a star, and I feel like this fits so well. I feel like Clefairy, if it got one, then Gengar should get one too. But it, this looks amazing. I love it. I would. I've never used Clefairy or Clefable. I know they're pretty decent Pokemon, uh, but looks really good. Whoa! Another Fairy. It, this one's instead of being Dragon Fairy, it's Fairy Dragon. But still, it looks great. Um, it looks very chunky. Uh, but it, it looks still really, really, really good. And then we have Vulpix, Ghost, and Fire. Finally, someone has made it. Ghost Fire, the typing it should be, or Ghost Psychic, as some would say. Um, I love it. Cursed Body for the ability. I, I love this. Makes me excited for Nine Tails. And Nine Tails is a Nine Tails Fox. Amazing, 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 amazing design. I love it. It's incredible on the team. Next up, Jigglypuff. What the hell is up with Jigglypuff? This thing is a fairy, and then if it's a snow cone or an ice cream, it's a uh, fairy ice. Interesting, not the approach I think I would have seen many people taking it, um, but it is having a uh, sweet veil or ice body, depending on which one you have. So when it evolves, does it have two different forms? Oh, so when it evolves, it turns into Wiggle Cream, the fairy ice type Pokemon. So it kind of mixes the two together. Um, I I think I like it, but I feel like it takes the main like wiggly tough things out of it. It's not bad by any means, but it's not like the greatest thing in the world, right? Um, but I like it. It really reminds me of Alcreamy. I don't know if this was made before Alcreamy or after Alcreamy, but it really reminds me of uh, Al Creamy. Uh, next up we have Zubat, the most annoying Pokemon in Generation 1. I don't care what anyone says, but now it's electric flying. So it's an electric flying bat. It looks like it's, it belongs in a rock band, bro. Um, and then it evolves into Golbat with the new ability Electric Jaw. So any bite attack causes extra damage and makes other electric type biting moves a dual type. Holy crap. So for example, Fire Fang will become Fire Electric type move. That is crazy. That is a super busted ability. I love it. He looks very punk rock. I love the, the hair. It looks very uh, menacing. Then I'm guessing there's, oh wait, Crobat and Johto. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. Then we have Oddish, a now uh, grass and dark type. Uh, straight up, I see it. Then it turns into E Gloom. <laughs> I like this more than Viable, or, or, or Gloom, my bad. Uh, e Gloom, Prankster ability. This looks great. I love it. I love it. Then we have Egg Bloom. And this does look scary. It's the scary Pokemon. Um, a little more humanoid than I think I was thinking the, the, the design was going to go. Not bad, but definitely uh, more humanoid. And I know some of you guys just hate Pokemon on two legs. Like, you hate bipedal Pokemon. I just think it was a little bit different, but I love it. It looks, it does look good. It's just not what I was expecting. Grass and Dark, though, cool to see it. Uh, Paris, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Design not bad, but I hate this Pokemon. And, and uh, oh, this one's, oh, actually, this one's uh, Traficicked. Um, definitely a weird looking Pokemon, not my favorite, but it's interesting for sure. Uh, then we have Venonat, whoa, bug and fighting type, did not expect that. This looks cooler, um, I love the long antennas, that's actually really cool, which, ooh, hold on, Venowhip, the bug fighting Pokemon with Steadfast, oh my, I, I can see it, like it's animation, like it throws its head forward and the whips like hit, dude, that looks so damn good. I like this a lot, actually. This looks really on the team. You're, you're on the team. This looks incredible. Like, Venonat, 
one of the most forgotten bug type Pokemon. It may be good competitive, I don't know, but this looks great. I actually really like the design of this Pokemon right here. Then we have Diglett, uh, which is a ground and water type. It's like a play on like sea coral, I'm guessing. Uh, or sorry, like a, like a sea sponge. Okay, it looks good. I mean, it's just Diglett underwater and it turns into different things. It's the camouflage Pokemon, so it's like different pieces of coral or anemones or uh, kelp. I'm not sure what, I don't know my aquatic uh, plant life too well, unfortunately. Uh, but this looks, I mean, it looks good. Ground water type, pretty good. Uh, was that the type from the beginning? Yeah, so ground water on both. It, yeah, it looks, I like it. It looks good. I would never use it if it was like in a game, but I mean, it, it looks, it looks pretty good. Now that we cleared the first bit of Pokemon, let's go to the next list with Meowth being next. And it is now a radiation Pokemon. This thing is foaming at the mouth, super linky, parts are melting with the new ability X-Ray. Any radiation attack will uh, go through any barriers. Holy crap, dude, this is busted. Meowth looks great though, the distorted Pokemon. I would add this to the team, or at least for a little bit. Uh, they, whoa, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I was expecting Persian. This is Distur, the Abomination Pokemon, and it has the same ability. This thing looks busted and not very Persian-esque. It has like three mouths. D what? And the claws are on like the top of the hand, I don't I don't know how to feel about this. It looks good, but I, this is not what I expected. Okay, next is Psyduck. It's straight up a Psyduck. It's a psychic type, just finally, I guess. Um, looks good, I like it though, the balance Pokemon. Then it evolves into Golduck. This is what I imagine Golduck should have looked like anyway. Uh, <laughs> looks great though, I really do like it. Uh, then we, what the hell is this? Whoa. What, what the, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have an evolution of Golduck being Wise Duck, the psychic flying Pokemon. Um, he has a cane. He's dope as hell. The Wise Pokemon. This is fire. This is okay. Yeah, this is, this is fire. This is actually really creative. Um, Psyduck definitely deserves more love. So this was actually pretty cool to see an evolution for it. Then we have Mankey, my boy Mankey. Everyone, I feel like doesn't give Mankey enough credit. An OG monkey Pokemon. It's just really cool to see it. It's the wild Pokemon with a new ability called Fight Back. When it uh, when it got hit by a move that reached half of his HP, it will hit it will hit another time the same turn. Oh wait, so if it's hit with the move, it'll essentially hit twice. That's pretty great. Um, dark and fighting type, a typing it should have had from the beginning, but of course we didn't have dark typing yet. Um, but incredible, incredible, incredible. Uh, Game Freak could have went back and added this typing on the Pokemon, but you know, it's totally fine. Then we have, oh, <laughs> a boar, a poor. Um, it looks great. I love it. It looks even more menacing and muscular and ready to throw down even more than uh, Primeape was too. So I love it. I look, I, this, this is on the team immediately. Then we have Growlithe, whoa. It, it gives me a dragon vibe, but it's a fire poison type, which throws me off. Now it says this Pokemon is, is oh my goodness. It, it's felt pain and burning at the same time. Um, they got bit by this Pokemon. They felt pain and burning at the same time. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. This is actually a really good design, but it gives off a very dragon vibe. Um, so I'm, it won't turn into a dragon type, I'm guessing, if it's fire and poison, and it doesn't. Okay, act more, and it has like a Chimera vibe going on to it more, uh, uh, like a Chimera vibe going full into the design here, but it has like those very classic Arcanine like type of, I like it, it looks good, it, it looks good. Let's just sum it up, it looks great. Very draconic without being dragon, and I liked it a lot. It looks really cool, big Chimera vibes. Uh, and we have Poliwag, the poison Pokemon. Very simple, just a spikier, more menacing. Kind of reminds me of Hisuian Quailfish in this design right here. Then next we have a Pokemon, which I think looks really cool. Uh, also being a poison type, we have Polybarb. Oh, geez Louise. This actually looks really cool. I, I mean, I don't, mmm. Do I like this more than OG Polyrath? I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say that, but I love the design. And I love that it went from white on the belly to like a tan color. 
um, it looks really, really good, which means we don't have Polyrath, we have Poly Spike. Um, I don't love this one. I don't love this one. Uh, it does have some really cool things going for it with a uh, brand new move called X-Bomb. It's a poison and fire type move that does 50 damage. It will throw two bombs and it can have a chance to randomly burn or poison. Dude, the move is super dope. The Pokemon design is just not what I expected after coming off of that one. Um, it's not bad. Like they're all, again, they're all fantastic designs, but this was just not what I was expecting when I was hearing that Pokemon being said. Um, but not bad, not bad at all. The next up we have Abra, Psychic and Dark Contrary. Yes, 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 yes. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Then we have Hocus. Is it about to be Abra, Hocus, Pocus, bro? Is it about to be Abra, Hocus, Pocus? Please do it. Um, Scholar Pokemon is holding like, um, like a page or... Um, like a scroll or, or like a, a scroll or something. It looks good and I kind of like the additional bone-like texture on the body. The feet look great. The hints of red are just popping. Ooh, peak, peak design. And you can kind of see like a slit in the forehead as if an eye is being like closed. And then we have Pocus. Bro, I called it in the in the bits of yellow is, is, is clean. It is clean, it's clean, it's clean. And gives like a little hint. From like, you know, you know, Abra, Cadabra, Alakazam to Abra, Pocus, or Hocus Pocus. This is great, dude. It's, it's, it's big brain. My boy T-Y-E said genius because it, it is witches and it's incredible. I love that it's holding a book with additional eyes because it's not having its eyes open. Dude, it's Pokemon forms is so big brain, bro. It's kind of crazy. And the next one is going to be Machop, a fighting fairy type. Love the horns. It looks super good. Um, yeah, I like it. it. It actually has really cool design elements that I can appreciate. Again, very spiky in this region so far as it evolves into Mock Ogre. Okay, going the Ogre route and it looks very teen. I like this more than uh, Machoke because it shows more of a, a teen design here. Not to mention, fighting and fairy, it just, oh my goodness, incredible typing. And then we have Ma King. He's got the muscles, he's not wearing a little underpiece. It, he looks like a king, it, it looks like a king. And you can see it just, oh my goodness. They won't do anything as far as like Machop and Makogre. Uh, they won't do anything without Ma King's permission. This Pokemon is really about that business. And you can see it has like additional bulbs on the hands, kind of like brass knuckles or like gloves. I like that. It looks really, really good on the team, on the team. Then you have Bellsprout. Eh, it's okay. It's not my favorite thing. Uh, then we have Lilibel, which is, I love the white flower aesthetic. I think it looks really cool. Uh, it, it sleeps all the time. Uh, not my cup of tea, but not bad. Or we have, I don't want to mess up the name of that one. Grass and water type though. So, I mean, it keeps consistent with the typing. And uh, I just don't love the bell sprout line, if I'm being honest. But design wise, I love the colors, especially on this last one right here. Um, it looks, it looks really, really good. Now we have an interesting Pokemon that I've never really liked with a pretty good typing of Ghost and Psychic. We have a Tenta Alpha and Tenta Alpha looks great. It looks, it looks, Tenta Alpha looks really good actually. It's very jelly, very adorable as it evolves into Tentacool. So it has a pre-evolution now. Hold on, it's a three stage. Hold on, I thought this was replacing. No, it is a three stage I'm guessing. And then we have Tenta Omega. A bit over designed for a Pokemon, like an official Pokemon, but this does look badass. This looks like a very alien-esque, the alien Pokemon, and look at what the description says. Um, I like it. The typing is super dope. It, it looks good. It's, it is very alien. It fits that aesthetic very well. Then we have Geodude, now being a rock and steel type iron barbs. It's the gold Pokemon. And I've seen a lot of designs that do that, or playing off of his shiny, making it like a gold rock, which I think is super cool. And then it evolves into, ooh, Gold Spin, which is a spinning type, like, uh, like, Graveler. Okay, I like this. Is it faster now, though, is the question. And then we have Gold Beast. I did not expect this. Um, again, very sharp, very pointy, kind of Jurassic. I, I think I like it. Gold Beast is pretty dang on cool. 
is a straight up golden beast Pokemon. And then next we have Ponyta looking adorable, a water type. Um, it, this one could even go for water uh, fairy. And I love the mane, it's like flowing water. Oh, dude, this looks so good. Has a brand new ability called Sea Walk, which gives it priority to water type moves when the HP is full of this Pokemon. So incredible. This could be great for competitive. Oh my goodness. Uh, as it evolves into what the hell? Kelotion? Kelotion? The ocean Pokemon? Also pure water type? I was expecting water fairy or water grass. Um, it looks good. I, I mean, it looks great. I just didn't expect it. I, again, I love the flow of water here. Water artist ability is just immaculate. Just amazing. Then we have Slowking, now a ghost and water type. And it looks straight up dried up and like it's having the worst time of its life. As it does evolve into slow bro, got that long neck and it looks like it's like emitting a mist from its back and, and the new ability is called Moist Mist. So if the Pokemon with this ability in battle, it will normalize any status condition. Okay. Um, I, I, it, it's design definitely gives me big old man vibes. Um, then we have Magnemite, a radiation steel Pokemon. Um, and this thing is a straight up amalgamation. It has hands now, slightly different. It's not just magnets, so it's pretty cool to see. And then we have Magna Raid, a radiation steel Pokemon, and it looks pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it looks, yeah, it looks, it looks uh, pretty cool. Definitely playing into that word raid uh, uh, a lot, and I like it. I like it a lot here. Then we have Farfetch, now a rock and normal type. Not the typing I would have expected, and now changing that leak into like a leak fan. Um, that's pretty cool. It's a caveman. It's a it's a caveman Pokemon. It's like an extinct dodo bird. I think that's cool. That is actually really, really awesome. Uh, then we have Kidu, which is, uh, from right, like, doesn't do like Doduo go here? Um, ground and ice, like, bird Pokemon. Pretty, pretty cool, I guess. Then there's Doduo, it is, okay, so that's the pre-evo. We went, we went like beta design and gave it a pre-evo. So pre-evo, ground ice, bird Pokemon, it looks pretty cool. Uh, uh, what the hell is going, how'd you go from this to this? The mythical Pokemon, dragon ice type. This, what the hell is this? It has, it's, oh my, it's Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres again. What the hell? This is incredible. But Dragon Ice, a little bit different than what I expected. It looks good though. Then we have Seal, looking more menacing and actually like a decent Pokemon for once. Seal is such a very basic Pokemon, but it has uh, a unique typing now, now being fighting, or not unique, but it's a new typing with the ability Guts. I love it. Then we have, whoa, not what the hell I expected. Leo Mach. And Leo Mach looks straight up like he, like it means business. It means on site Pokemon and it looks really, really good. Then we have Grimer, now a ground type. So instead of it being uh, uh, dirty, it's just minerals from the earth into a muck and it has like the little, it, it's very cute. It's a very cute design. Um, and of course, what the hell are you? Grumby? A straight up zombie Pokemon? Holy crap, so the body becomes the host of any ghost Pokemon. Oh my, dude! Ground Ghost, good typing, cursed body, great ability. I love this. So instead of Muck, we get Grumby, a straight up ground zombie, bro. This is, yeah, this is dope. This is pretty cool. Then we have Shelter, water normal type, the new or ability called Liquid Ooze. Uh, it's an oyster, it's licking all over the place. Put your tongue in your mouth, but it does look pretty cool. Dude, then we have Cloyster being a water and fire type, uh, the heater Pokemon, and you, you can see it radiating in there. I, I like that very clean touch on the design with that element. Uh, then we have Ghastly. Whoa, I don't know how I feel about it having arms. Okay, I don't know how I feel about it having arms. Um, I mean. It's very, um, very animated, and I love it for that. I still know how to feel about it, because now it has, it has, whoa, you do look dope. Normal poison type, unused Pokemon typing, by the way. Um, the rookie Pokemon, okay. It's, it's pretty cool. I love that it has, like, a mask on. It just, it's weird seeing it so humanoid, honestly. Um, so I'm not 100% sure how to feel about it. 
Now next up we have Gengar, but I'm not sure if you guys are ready for this, but Gengar is a normal poison type, not even a ghost, which is a bit of a switch, and it is pretty humanoid. I mean, I like it, but then something about it, it's just its just not OG Gengar, but I think I like it. It, it does look very, um, I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. It looks good, but it, I don't, something's throwing me off. Maybe because I'm just so used to OG Gengar, but something's throwing me off with this Pokemon. Then we have, uh, what the hell? Pebix, a rock and fire type. We don't have Onyx anymore. It's Pebix. I mean, it looks good. I like the additional, like, uh, it's not just one horn, it's two now. Um, I like this. It looks, it looks pretty good. And, whoa, then we have Onyx. We have a pre-evolution of Onyx, so we'll probably get Steelix later. And it's a rock and fire type. Maybe gonna be like a steel fire later. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it's a fire snake Pokemon now. And I love the, the kind of like coal-like color to it. It looks really good. I actually like it a lot, right? Uh, then there's Drowsy. Now a psychic electric type. That is pretty damn cool. And it looks way, way, way better than original Drowsy. Then we have, uh, what the hell are you? Citro? Uh, I don't know how to feel about this Pokemon. I mean, it looks good, but I don't I don't know how to feel about it. Um, then we have Krabby, now a steel water type with clear body, and it has like little screws in its hands to show the steel typing. And then it evolves into King, King, King Kava? King Kava? I love the bubble, the bubble thing. It's a night Pokemon. It looks good. It, it looks, I mean, it looks good. I, I like this one uh, a lot, actually. I, I like it. It gives a big king, I mean, the king vibe is there. It looks good. Uh, then we have Voltorb, now a steel fire type, like a bomb, I'm guessing. I love the eyes on it. Uh, and then we have B Boom Rod. Yeah, bomb, straight up a bomb Pokemon. Um, looks really good. I wish the Hisuian one had more personality than, than, like, this looks great. And even though it's still the basic design, it just, like, Hisuian could have been so much better. Now, next up, we have Execute being a Poison Rock type, Poison Touch for the ability, and it looks like Poison, or I guess more like, uh, they're not eggs, they're, they're seeds. They're, uh, like, seeded rocks, I guess. Um, and as it evolves into Exotoxicity, or Toxy, Toxicity, again, sorry for mispronouncing the name, it looks super weird oh my goodness did not expect this uh but very very rocky and pointy i like it then we have cubone a dark and ground type it looks like it has like a tattoo on his body yo the 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 low invariant would be proud right now would justify the predator pokemon it looks great and i love the uh the new like like bone mask on it with a bigger bone that looks really good as it evolves into Marowak, a dark and ground type as well. And you can see it has now accessories on the bone and they're more like uh, like a sword and a dagger, the hunter Pokemon, really, really cool. And then we have, what the hell are you? Dreadnought. Dude, this the straight up dread Pokemon. It has like a hammer and like a saw sword. Oh my goodness, like it means business. And that, I like this a lot actually, I think I think Marowak could benefit from an evolution, even though Marowak is good, a low end more than original Cantonian, um, but it could benefit from an evolution uh, kind of either way. And then Hitmonlee, what have they done? It's a fighting and water type with Swift Swim. I did not expect this. I guess big, I, this could have fit a Lola a lot better than I think anything. Um, it doesn't train in dojos anymore, so it has a new hobby to fit its leg use. Which means Hitmonchan is different, right? Hitmonchan, also water fighting, is a straight up surfer dude. It's a straight up surfer dude that saves people. Um, this is very far from the OG. I don't know how to feel about this one. I mean, they look good. I just don't know how to feel about them. Um, then we have, what, Lick Lickitin? Lickitin is now, I guess, a pre-evo of Lickitung. It's a dragon type as it evolves into Lick your tongue, which is a, a dragon type. Holy crap. This looks remarkable. Again, very pointy. Love the love the aspect. Um, looks good. I actually like this one a lot. Then we have coughing, the electric poison Pokemon, fire typing. Uh, with the new ability charging. So the Pokemon changes its form, alternating between full charge mode and low energy mode. 
after each turn. Holy crap. And a second new ability called Contaminated Electricity. It becomes electric, or it becomes electric type move when it's fully charged and a poison type move when it's low energy. It does 80 damage. So it switches, instead of it being coughing or wheezing, it switches forms, which will switch its ability. Holy crap, and it does a different move. So this is fully charged form, which is wheezing. So low charge form, power charge form. That's pretty damn cool. I like the form change. Then we have Rhyhorn being a bug type. Did not expect that for Rhyhorn. It is like a like a beetle or something. I don't know what kind of bug this is. It's like super, it is a beetle. Rhyneros, incredible. I love it, bulky beetle Pokemon. Gives me kind of like a Digimon vibe. It looks, it looks pretty dang on cool. Yo, then we have Chansey, which is now a steal a psychic type, steal a healer Pokemon, or with the ability healer, it is, that's a really creative way to kind of introduce like futuristic nurses in a way. I like that a lot. Uh, then we have Ten Tenaguba. What the hell are you? Where do you come from? Wait, 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 wait. If I'm thinking in the Pokedex, are you like a pre-evolved form for like Heracross and Spins or in Pinsir? Are you the pre-evo of Pinsir? Hold on. Oh no, what the hell? Did I miss something here? It turned into t t t Tangela? Okay, it's a worm Pokemon. It's now a bug normal type. Uh, then we have Kangaboo, which is a rock type. Little, little, little Kanga. It's a little Kanga, sturdy. And then it evolves into Kanga Tank. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. So is this like a male exclusive form? Kanga Tank. Okay. The fighter Pokemon it always fights to defend his family. Not a lot of males survive their fights. That's why they are extinct first. Oh, that's pretty cool. Good way to like slide it in. And then we have Kanga's Khan, which is the mother. They protect the children. That's actually really cool. And they also heal the wounds of Kangatank. I like that. Straight up male, female. I love it. It's great. It's great. We have Horsey, which is now a water psychic type playing to that coral aspect. The regenerator Pokemon. I like it. It looks it looks good. Like a like a coral seahorse. I like it. Um looks dope. And same thing goes for Cedra here, as we have Horsey, Cedra, and then we have Goldeen being like a sucker fish, the pop die Pokemon. Uh hopefully. Uh, sorry, Goldeen, and then then Sea King. Hopefully, Sea King looks enough different. It definitely looks hella different. It's a like uh, is it like the lionfish Pokemon? So it's uh, Celio, which is an interesting name. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Uh, what it shoots spikes like a shotgun. Oh, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. Then we have Star You, a flying psychic type, straight up a, a, a star from space. It looks really good, actually. Do we have Star Me, which is, or Star We? My bad. Star Me has turned to Star We and looks good. I actually like it a lot. It's like a victory star type of thing. It's really cool. Um, then we have Mr. Mime, which is now, instead of Psychic Fairy, it's Psychic Normal. It's like a mime, the Joker Pokemon. It's doing its thing. Still looks super creepy, but that's Mr. Mime for you. Uh, we have Scyther, now a bug in dark type, very menacing. I love the cloak. I love the like true pincer arms on this. Looks really, really cool. And then, what the hell is that? What the hell are you? You are a cursed image and you should never be created. That is a Jinx in Ghost Normal, very fitting typing. Creepy as hell. I like the bus and ice type looking like a beast. I wish it was ice electric though, but it looks like a beast and I love it. And then we have Magmar. What the hell? When did you grow wings? It is a water flying type being the ocean Pokemon. And it, okay. So this is a Pokemon that lost his wings and then became a fire type later. Wow. That is interesting. Okay. We have Pinsir, a bug and fighting type, the stag Pokemon. Um, it's about time it became bug and fighting, which makes me think that Heracross will have a different typing, of course, for the regional forms. Uh, it's hopefully something unique. Then we have Tauros as a fire ground type desert Pokemon. That is actually really dope. It looks super good. I love like the burnt ends, just that, that clean fire variant. It looks really, really good. Then we have Magikarp, the water ice ice body Pokemon. It's transparent, no lie, I almost didn't see it. I honestly, I, my, my first look, I was like, there's no Pokemon there. Cause kind of crazy. It looks great though. It looks fantastic. 
Uh, then we have Dromados, an ice and poison type. And I love that see-through like ice aesthetic looks really cool with the new ability, Absolute Freeze. It can freeze any Pokemon. It, oh, no, it can freeze ice Pokemon. Then it has the new move, V-Freeze or V or Breeze, Breeze, v Freeze Fang. Which is my bad. I'm missing them so much right now. It's ice and poison, uh, so it can either freeze or, or or poison the opponent. That's busted. That's busted. Actually, I have an ability like that or like a a move like that for my region. It's busted, but it's super dope. Uh, and we have low cross, which is like a pre-evolution, possibly a Lapras, a Rock and Dragon type. Ooh, Marvel scale. I think it's gonna be great. Then we have Lapras, a Rock and Dragon type. Look at look at the design of that. Very draconic. And I think it fits so well. Lapras needs some love. Hopefully we get to see Lapras uh, in Generation 9. Oh my goodness. What have they done to Ditto? Ditto the unstable Pokemon. Uh, it is a straight up radiation Pokemon now. You can see it has like an eye of an Eevee, the Ditto, and the Gengar, and the Mac. It is straight up an abomination. This is an unstable DNA strand gone wrong. Then we have Eevee! Eevee, the no, the no evolution Pokemon. What the hell? After a lot of Eevee have perished because their trainers forced them to evolve to get stronger, but they couldn't handle the power of evolution. They still have a grudge towards their precious trainers and cannot evolve. New ability uh, with the ring in battle, all Pokemon in the field cannot increase their stats. In party, no Pokemon can evolve. What the hell? Oh my goodness, it's a straight up ghost type, very menacing Eevee, and it's cool because it shows like um, like colors alluding to their other typings that it could have turned into. I, 10 out of 10 on the team. It was super busted though. Um, then we have Porygon, a grass normal type sap sipper. It's a toy Pokemon, it's like a grass duck toy. It looks pretty good. Then we have Nanut, Nanite, whatever. It's, I guess Amistar type of thing. Omastar type of thing, Water Steel looks like an aquatic animal. Uh, then we have <laughs> Argagon. Um, it has cannons with a brand new move called Water Cannon. And it says when it will hit, uh, it will hit first, but it may not, wait, wait, wait. When it will hit the first, it may not hit the next turn. Ah, so a pretty strong move that is going to do some interesting damage. Design wise, it's, um, both of these are super unique. I'm pretty sure this is like the Amastar, uh, Omastar, whatever the, I don't, I forget the fossil Pokemon are. It, it's pretty good though. Then we have the, 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 the what? Dabuto? Dabuto? I'm tripping right now. It's Dabuto. The Bug Steel type. It looks good. It's, it's pretty much like a really descendant predecessor of the Pokemon or whatever. Uh, then we have, what the hell are you? Metapede? Metapede, Tough Claws, new move, Crusher Pin is a bug and steel type move that does 110 damage, similar back to the other uh, variation of this Pokemon, like uh, the Omastar equivalent. Um, it looks great. Uh, it looks good. It looks menacing. Very, um, I would say, Ultra Beast-ish in a way. Let me know if, um, if you guys kind of agree with that statement. Then we have Goldorus, which is a Fighting and flying type looks immaculate on the team. Based on the design alone, the vicious Pokemon, they are believed to be descent or, or, or Aerodactyl's descendants. What? Brand new move, flying meteor, fighting, uh, fighting or flying type move, same exact uh, criteria. It looks great. It, I, this, if this is our predecessor to, uh, Air, or sorry, descendant of Aerodactyl, this is a phenomenal looking Pokemon. Uh, then we have Snorlax, which is a poison type, a sick Pokemon with a new bit or a new move called Vomit. Uh, sounds gross, uh, but Snorlax is a staple. Then we have Dratini, Electric and Dragon. It looks so good. It looks so good. Dratini look amazing. It evolves into Dragonair, which also looks incredible. The Eel Dragon Pokemon. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Which makes me excited for my possibly like it's tied first with Gudra. Favorite pseudo legendary up there. Oh, Dra Dragor Dra Dragorai? Dragorai? Ooh, I like this a lot. The Thunder Pokemon. It has like the elements of Dragonite, but it's elongated and it, it's, I would say it fits better. It's more consistent versus Dratini Dragonair than Dragonite's like really different.
Now it's time to step into the legendaries as we have Articuno, the water flying Pokemon. It is the Mist Pokemon with a brand new move uh, called Blinding Mist, a water type based attack. Um, what if, if it gets hit, if, sorry, if it hits the opponent, it will lose accuracy to stages? Wait, I'm a little confused on how it's pronounced here. It says, if it hit the opponent, it will lose its accuracy to stages. Okay, I mean, it's, I love it actually. I mean, Articuno looks dope, water flying, Water Veil for the ability. I mean, you get a good Pokemon here. Then you have Zapdos being a ghost in flying type. I love still the, the yellow elements from Zapdos. It is the Dead Light Pokemon with a brand new move called Soul Crush. Um, if it hits the opponent, it will be cursed. Holy crap, just simple to the point. I like this a lot. It looks really cool. Zapdos is looking menacing nowadays. Now, Moltres is the one that I'm hoping looks good because Moltres did not look good as the Cantonian one. Straight up fire rubber chicken. And then, like, Galarian, like, knocked it out of the park. So let's see what Pokemon Forms did as we have a ground flying uh, Ash Pokemon. It looks pretty good. The new move is Ash of Ignite, it's a ground type attack. Uh, and if the opponent, it will cause burn damage without fail. Wow, pretty, pretty abrasive move there. Uh, ground flying. I, I mean, it's definitely Ash. And I love the, oh, kind of reminds me of like, um, the type of effect they would use for like Shaolin Showdown with like the kind of square smoke. I like it. I like the aesthetic. Uh, it does look pretty good, but very, very different from what I expected. Then we have, it looks like a specific new legendary just for this Pokemon forms. This being Rataraz, uh, and it is a straight up grass and radiation po uh, Pokemon. Oh my goodness. With the balance uh, entrance new ability, it will cancel all the effects of both burning and healing entrance abilities. If it enters the battle, it will cancel entrance abilities similar to an intimidate. Wow, so you can't intimidate this Pokemon. Pretty dope. Has a brand new move called Radon Gas, which does 100 damage, 85 accuracy, and it will change mode and increase the shining power this is kind of crazy this is this is dope though the the kind of um this is the rad green pokemon so like the leaf green pokemon then we have the the new blue pokemon the water radiation pokemon with a similar healing entrance and then boreon cure which is i guess a more curing type move and i like it blue uh i like green so far more than blue but let's check out red Infrared is settled. Fire radiation Pokemon. This is Infrax. It's incredible. I think this looks great. Burning entrance, which will uh, give a battlefield to the stage, and then uh, give like sorry, it will uh, when it enters the battlefield will burn all Pokemon, even fire types. That is busted. Oh my goodness. Infra heat, and it's it's great. This this Pokemon is dope. I'm choosing Infrared personally. If I'm picking up a copy, I'm picking up Infrared. And of course, when you end it off Kanto, you have these two legendary here being what the hell? You're not Mewtwo. So here we have Muters, and this is the Psychic Radiation Pokemon with a brand new ability, Gravity Entrance. So it activates gravity when it enters the battle with a brand new move called Empty Space, which is either Psychic or Radiation, 120 damage. When it hits the opponent, it will reduce all stages by one stage. This thing is incredibly strong. And I mean, it looks, it looks like a radiated Mewtwo for sure. And then last but not least, we have Mew, which is spelled with the U instead of a Y. Uh, or sorry, a W, my bad. It is a Dragon Psychic Pokemon with Synchronize, the first child of Pokemon, and it has a brand new move called Dragon Sphere. It will not miss. Uh, it's great. It looks, it looks very good. I like this one a lot. Um, it like, mute, I mean, it's mute. What, what else can you really say? Um, overall, this was actually pretty incredible. Well guys, that's actually going to do it here for this video. We looked at a hundred plus Pokemon getting complete regional forms and it was just incredible. So many unique typings, the new radiation type is here. Now of course, the Pokemon forms account is working on the general region. So if you guys want to see more content like this video, make, you, make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a part two showing off the Johto Pokemon. The Pokemon forms account is, is killing it. These, these like forms are incredible. And if you guys love seeing some of those kind of beta touches, wait till you see Johto. 
Johto. Johto has so much, and I'll have a link to the official account link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. Show some love. Let them know the infamous trainer sent you. And I want to thank you guys all for watching the video. If you guys want to see more content like this, like this, again, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know what Pokemon made it onto your team for your brand new Pokemon Forms Kanto team. I would love to hear it. Love to see it. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! I'm